So this is uh, Shadowfang Keep. This is a quick run just to show people how I do it and how I, I don't know, I find the easiest way to do it. I find that when I'm running lower levels, they tend to not listen very well, and so they um, they tend to die. <laughs> and uh, so I try to, what I've come to find out that with this is it's better to do it in sections. I mean, it probably takes about, I don't know, 20 minutes to do the whole entire thing. Um, just pulling everything on me, telling everybody to stand back, open the door real quick. And now, I've been having this done on my shaman, and I find that um, everybody does it different. I find this to be the easiest way, just because, you know, when you're a lower level, you just kind of get bored standing around. Uh, and if you are a lower level and you're pulling these, this is a good way to, when you jump down here, gives you a chance to uh, heal yourself, cast any buff that had gone off on you, whatever, um, and then take them all on. So, boom, we just kill them all. Since it's such a low instance, I just let them die by hitting me, so I really don't even waste my time hitting them. Okay, right here where I'm jumping, again, is where I tend to usually have people stand. I find that jumping down on the side here like this, grabbing these first two guys here on the corner, and then circling around, uh, makes it much easier, because a lot of the lower levels will tend to just kind of move down thinking it's safe, not seeing that there's an actual uh, wolf and one of those werewolf guys um, over there so then they ended up wiping out and then you know I'm having to come back to try to save them but at the same time I'm trying to save them I've got a whole herd of people on me so that's why I still find it easier to um, pull them in chunks instead of doing a whole hops thing and pull the entire thing I meant to go into that little room back there, and that's when I realized that I messed up and didn't just figure I'd just pull them over here. Normally, everybody should be standing up in the doorway right here, and they'll be getting great XP uh, for their level. I did miss the horses because I don't kill them. I don't know. I just feel weird about killing innocent horses. I know that sounds stupid, but whatever. The horses live. Again, I just tend to let them kill them, kill themselves by hitting me. Um, I just concentrate and then use my shield. Uh, I have a shield spike on there, so you know anything that gives me my damage of them hitting me, so I can just stand there and let them, you know, hit themselves to death. Okay, now like I said before, I forgot to go in that little room and grab these people right here. Because this is usually where I want them to stand while I'm grabbing all these people in here. This room and the next room. Um, just also too, because I know there is a patrol uh, that does come through. So I tend to just try to grab them all real quick and then have them um, move up. And if I can, I usually try to get them to stand uh, on the ba on the uh, little balcony thing there I just passed. Um, if I don't come back in here to look for the patrol, depends what kind of mood I'm in. This is probably one of my favorite lower level instances. I, I find it uh, very entertaining to do. I don't know. I really like doing it. So I tend to do it a lot. So I 
pretty much just got it down where I grab everybody that's in the um, that zone and I just pull them all in there and just take them all in there as, as many as I can. And sometimes I've done it like five or six. Okay, now after you leave that room, I usually have them stand right here uh, on the stairwell because this is a, a little bigger pool, um, like the second area because I pull a whole bunch of rooms and then come back. But uh, this is my favorite instance. I don't know why. I just like it a lot. And if you watch all my videos, this is where I usually come when I'm trying to level up um, and spend a lot of time in here. It is funny because sometimes I'll get to a point where I uh, I pull so many that they become a straight line that they don't make no noise. So that's why I like I turned around for a second because I thought they all went back. I don't know. I think I'm just pushing buttons because I was bored. There, I popped one of my trinkets for the hell of it, just to kill him a little faster. Okay, and here we go for the second half coming up. I love that big circle when there's a circle of dead bodies around you. Uh, okay, these guys aren't all that bad. The guys on the other side, the ones that curse you, I hate those guys. a little quickie. Usually I have them follow me uh, because here, you know, it's they're already on me so there's no reason for them to stand anywhere. It's better just to follow me than when you get to the doorstop to stand there. These are the guys I don't like, and I usually try to look for a uh, mage, just because it's just a nuisance more than anything. They put a curse on you, and uh, sometimes I'm lucky enough to not get the curse at all, but since there's like six guys there, and if all six of them put the curse on you, that's uh, six, six curses plus the curse itself does a... Uh, uh, it'll knock down a hundred points of whatever weapon you so happen to, you know, it'll do, you'll see it here in a little bit, as up here where these purple things are on the corner of my maps, they'll start going across, and those are the curses going off on me, uh, like a hundred percent, uh, a negative against the mace, and then it's like, or a negative against your mace skill, and then it's a hundred percent negative against your, uh, whatever, I mean, I've had that, the whole row, of everything it's like two lines and it's just like insane uh, it doesn't affect me but it's just annoying to see that shit across my screen now this is a big one too uh, I do make them stand back there where I was jumping pulling all these guys stupid fucking bones always trip me up and this is a great one because this one if you really uh, I think I actually do heal here because I didn't heal, I haven't healed any other time. Um, you can pull all these guys on you, and then you go back, and this is the best part. You just drop down here, 
and now they have to run all the way back uh, to get to you. So, you know, you just boom, heal up, do whatever you need to do, dance, throw another buff on you. Now here they all come. And then they're all dead. And also, if you're leveling up uh, leather skinning or leather working, Shadow Fang Keep is a very good place to go to because all these guys, lots and lots of leather. I hate the running up the stairs part. This is just a little pool here. If you got the quest, this is where you do the quest. Um. They can follow me or stay. Oh, no, no. I do have them stay back because after you kill him, um, this dude comes down and he drops lightning bolts. And uh, I think it's like six or seven void walkers appear, which are really easy to kill. But still, uh, it's better to be have them stay back. So here comes the void walkers. Still got that stupid buff on me over there. Oh, it's only four. Make them stand here because there are wolves and stuff on the side here that run out at you. And they'll go after the, um, you know, the lower levels get up there first. They'll come after them. Again, not really having to hit them, but letting them kill themselves by touching me. Now, here, um, this guy does teleport around, so you can have people stand here or on the sides of the uh, ledges. But he sometimes will teleport next to uh, people. Now, I'm pretty sure when he's... There's a thing where he does where he says, Fear my rage. I think that's when he turns people in. Uh, he turns people into whatever, but I usually end up never letting people get close enough to... Uh, um, he doesn't come down. I forgot that he didn't come down. So that's why after I pulled all these guys, I went back. He stays up there and teleports from this ledge to the ledge you started on. But... Um, I've never had nobody turn on me because I don't... I, let, I make them stay back. And usually I'm taking casters with me, like healers, because this guy drops really good... Uh, uh, some healing stuff and a healing staff and some shoulders. Um, just low-level casters and healers get really good stuff from this guy. I've only had um, a dagger, which dropped yesterday for the first time. As many times I've done it, it was a, a dagger that did fire damage, which I've never had drop for me on this from when I do it. It's actually out of mana. Forgot to uh, get mana. Boom. And I think he dropped the robe. That's what he did drop. Yep. I was looking for the dagger. So that's basically Shadowfang Keep, uh, white, swords, white sword style. Uh, quick and easy. 